Jamie, this is intriguing. Just explain a bit more about this theory of how the moon affects the, the taste. Well, it's based on this really fascinating way, um, way of growing wine grapes called biodynamics, which is sort of a supercharged version of organics. Um, and it involves a whole host of different um, manipulations in the vineyards. One of them is like burying um, a particular um, quartz compound in, in a cow's horn for a year, then digging it up and then spraying it on the vines once it's been, been diluted a lot. And one of the things biodynamic growers like to do is they like to time all their interventions according to a special lunar calendar. And so they, they split up the, um, the, the calendar into different days. You've got root days, you've got flower days, fruit days. Um, and their assertion is that not only do the, the plants respond differently um, to different times of the lunar calendar, but also when you taste wine, and some days... It, it tastes better and some days it tastes worse. Well, the idea is gaining credibility, isn't it, now, yeah. with some of the major retailers who will only allow critics to, to taste their wines on certain days and at yeah. certain times of those days. Yeah, and Tesco and, and Marks and & Spencer both operate their press tastings now. They, they avoid root days, which are supposed to be the worst days for tasting wine. But uh, today's a root day, isn't unfortunately, it? Unfortunately, yes. So today, on, um, if you're... If you're Planning to drink some wine this evening, then maybe maybe you should think again according to these 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 biodynamic guys. Well, sadly, at eight months pregnant, you're just tempting me with this. So I can get, have a little have a little smell of it, but um, have a taste of that and let let us know how does that wine taste differently today? Do you think on a root day to how it might perhaps on a on a fruit day, which yeah. is a, a better day, isn't it, to drink wine? Well, it tastes quite good to me. Um, I think most people drinking at home aren't going to notice any difference. I mean, personally, I find some days as, as a professional wine taster, I'll go along and I'll start tasting. And I, I start questioning myself. I start thinking, you know, am I just a bad taster? All the wines maybe taste the same or it's really hard to get the differences or some really expensive bottles just taste a bit dull. Um, and other days, other days I'll taste and the wines are all singing and they're beautiful. And I, I don't know whether it's necessarily the alignment of the planets. It could be that it's... Um, it could be the atmospheric pressure, for instance. Well, it's quite bright and sunny outside today, and I imagine the pressure's quite high. So, so that could be something that, that makes wine taste a little bit better than other days when it's grey and cloudy and a bit depressing. Then I think, you know... Because wine tasting's about us as well as the wine. It's the way we approach the wine. And if you expect a wine to taste better, very often it does.